Hey, Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, um, apparently, well, we're withholding information, and the judge doesn't seem happy with us for that. Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Rido. You should have shown it then before it was too late. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine. Show evidence cannot show evidence. So do I actually want to show the evidence this time? Um. Fine, you win. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. Alright then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered per Prosecutor Marshall. Let's... Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of, of the victim's vest. Oh yes, at least you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that it be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather. There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. You mean... It could not have been forged. It is an authentic con It must be authentic conclusive evidence. Yeah, and we don't need to send it to a lab. We already did the test. Ho ho ho. You're as slow on the uptake as ever, Worthy. What? Think about it. Raido had all this time to present this evidence. Yet, he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? You mean you already know. You know whose fingerprints are on that. Mr. Wright, do you really know? Whoever this fingerprint, whoever the fingerprint belongs to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? <sighs> Very well, I'll tell you. Should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person whom these fingerprints belong to are... Emma Sky. Emma? Emma Sky? What? They're mine? I'm sorry, Emma. But why... Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want you to panic. Oh, ho 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 ho. You're really something, Rido. You knew this girl did it all along, and you still tried to pin the murder on me. So it's true, tragic, but true. This girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. How could you? You, you monster! Miss Sky, you knew whose fingerprints those were all along, and yet you, you acted like she really didn't. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Ha, huh, but I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. Ha ha ha. Oh, you wish. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. Oh, have your badge, boy. What's the matter, cat got your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was in the sky, wasn't it? Nope. I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves who the real killer is. 
This was the contradiction I figured out at the end of the last episode. Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth, what could it possibly contradict? Chief Gant, your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. And Chief Gant was nice enough to give it to us. Thanks for that. Or, well, Lana gave it to us, I guess. But, still. And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Guy took. But, yeah. Also, yeah, Chief Gant basically set himself up for this. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Yes. His shirt is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that piece of cloth! Wait. There's no blood on it! Wow, the judge actually made a smart connection. Yeah, exactly. Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword. No, th this is nonsense! Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Skye, picked up the unconscious prosecutor, and impaled him on the armor's sword? Exactly. Then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue. And make Lana believe her sister did it. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of the victim's vest. Ironic, isn't it? Through the very act of creating insurance, you proved that you were the actual murderer. No. Yes. It's finished. Or is it? Yeah, I get the feeling he wasn't gonna let that go. <laughs> oh, that was close, Drido. Right? Oh, you almost had me. Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. I refute. I refute your allegations. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Oh, wait. It is? Order, order, what nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect? Remember, Uji? Earlier, old Rido here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Rido? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair! Ho ho ho. Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. I'm afraid Mr. Gant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, true, illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person, assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright? It seems at last. The time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? Have you personally pers and illegally concealed this piece of cloth? No. Certainly, I refuse to present evidence at one point. Aha! So the evidence is illegal! Nope. No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. 
is that I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, Uji, don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. You can't let him. There is only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let us settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. Um... Oh, right! Lana said we would need this if we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gant. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence Law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of, piece of cloth. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The Second Rule of Evidence Law. Rule number one. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. Rule 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. And here is the crux of the matter. You see, at the time it was impossible for me to prove the relevancy between the cloth and the SO9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want a relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and... Sorry, but can you recall? When was that picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. No. He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. You yourself confess to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh yes. No. Yep. It was then that you approved this clock as conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this clock. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer, and there's only one person who that could be. Damon Gant. The killer was you. No, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh boy. Well, somebody's lost his mind. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good-for-nothing scum. For two years, he's been snooping around the department trying to get something on me. Oh, wow. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Starr, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is tra transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you gotta help me. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he had to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? You can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. He told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall. Uh-oh. 
Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked, too. I had a bad feeling about it, but I never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it, that accursed knife. I couldn't just pull it out. You would only increase the amount of blood, and you couldn't finish what you started. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I was wiping it up. I was worrying so much about the boar, I didn't realize my mistake. Detective Gumshoes. Bloody handprint. I used to be known as the crime computer, but everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car? I'm sorry, you couldn't think of any other way to move the body. You broke the trunk, but what's the big deal? You pulled down a lot more than us detectives. <laughs> he still has to fix that. Was... <laughs> oh boy. What does this have to do with anything? You're horrible. How could you get Miss Sky involved in all of this? Well, she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker. I feel bad for having to do it. I couldn't sit around and pick and choose what to take. Well, you left the jar fragment in gloves. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. They all did their best to get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. What are you doing in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. I'm sorry, what? One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. What does he mean by that? Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Uji? Oh, what? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. I'm sorry too, Damon Gant. I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator and example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are long gone now, Luigi. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Now you have Rido here. And Worthy. With these two around, you can't go wrong. You see, if I listen carefully, I can hear it right now. The sound of a new beginning. There are two things I want you to understand. Yes. First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years, from the time I had Gant help me forge evidence up until today. So, it seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Sky. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my. What a high standards you have for a rookie. I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows? A few years from now, you just might make it to the top. Hey, she smiled. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Skye. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few year few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. Hmm, <laughs> it was nothing, <laughs> Edgeworth. Liar. I was worried the pressure might break you. 
And yet, he rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. So stop it, I only did my job. In light of this case, it seems a good self-examining is in order for all of us. Miss Skye? Yes, Your Honor. You are innocent of murder. However, although the Chief blackmailed you the fact you still acted as his accomplice, a trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I've felt free of these heavy chains. I'm glad we could do our part and help you. Well, this trial has gone on far too long already. Regarding the charge of murder, this court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, not guilty. I love that there's confetti every single time. That is all. The court is adjourned. And we'll wrap up this chapter and the entire game of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney in the next one. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon. And check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rolls, signing off. Talk to you later.